I've made a number of videos with tips and tricks on how to use Apple Notes, and I just you know keep coming back to it because it's a handy application. In this video, I thought I'd raise the hood and show you how I use Apple Notes. And I know the way I do it's not the only way, but it makes sense to me and it might make sense to you. So stick around. I think you're going to like what you see. Hi, my name is Rich and I've been cranking out easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad for the last couple of years and rarely do I dive into anything complicated. My goal is to make things simple. And if easy to follow videos sounds like something that might be helpful to you, please consider subscribing. You know, it's free and it helps support the creation of these videos. Okay, so I use Apple Notes for three main things. Capturing information, processing information, and retrieving information. Capturing information needs to be quick and easy. You know, I've rarely found anything easier than a sticky note and a pen, but Quick Note feature is really close to that. By processing information, I mean doing something with the information I've captured. For example, I store appliance manuals in an appliance manual folder in Apple Notes. No more kitchen drawers full of paper manuals. In fact, I've organized notes in a series of folders and subfolders that make sense to me. And lastly, I need to be able to retrieve or find the stuff I've put into Apple Notes. If you have hundreds of notes, you know what I mean. The information has no value if you can't find it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I capture information and place it in Apple Notes, how I process and organize those notes, and then how I find the stuff when I need it. All right, let me show you how I do this. All right, I want to show you how I capture information and get it into Apple Notes. So the first way that I often do it is, is just going in to Apple Notes and clicking on the new note and creating my new note. And that's the simple way to do it. That's the way most people are familiar with. But I don't always have time to just open up the app and do all of this kind of stuff. So another way I do that is using Quick Notes. And Quick Notes can be called up in a couple of different ways. One way is using Control Center. You can swipe down. And I have the Quick Notes icon added to Control Center. And I can just tap on that. And suddenly I've got a new Quick Note. Just like this and then I'm done and now that quick note is made if I don't have a keyboard with me I can just swipe up on the corner like that and click on a new quick note and maybe I'll call Carol and then click done and just like that I've captured a note and now when I go back into Quick Notes, or into Apple Notes, I can go to my Quick Notes folder, and there's the note that I just typed to call Carol and to call Jack. Just as simple as that. And that's a couple of quick ways to capture information quickly on your iPad. And by the way, you can do this on your iPhone too. So it's really handy when you're out mobile to have your iPhone and to go into Control Center and just pull up a quick note and put something on there. I'll probably do a video on that um, in the near future. Okay, another way to capture information is you can add it to a quick note directly from, say, a website. So let's call up um, Apple Pencil here, and I'm just going to use the share sheet, and I can tap on that, and I can put Add to Quick Note. And just like that, I've got the information captured onto a quick note about the Apple Pencil. And I can continue to add to that. If you just take your finger and swipe it over, you'll see that the note goes kind of over to the side. You can tap on it and bring it back. You can swipe over and take it down. And now maybe you go somewhere else. We'll go to Apple Pencil second generation like that. Maybe we want to have a note on that and we can go back up here and tap on that. And we can also add that to a quick note. And now it's added it to the existing quick note and now we can type done. And when we go back into Apple Notes, you're going to have a quick note right here. 
about the Apple Pencil and that takes you back to the website that we were just looking at or you can tap on it and go to the uh, purchase page on Amazon to get it. So it's a quick way to get information into a quick note. So that's pretty handy and that's another way to capture information and get it into Apple Notes. Another way to, to get information into Apple Notes is you can actually just drag a website right into an Apple Note. And let me show you how to do that. If we go back to Safari, here I've got a website on how to paint kitchen cabinets. And we bring up Apple Notes and we put it over here to the side. I'll go back to all of my folders and I have a cabinet painting project that I'm working on and I'm going to create a new note and now I can just go up here and drag just drag well, this over to the note and now I have saved this article here on how to paint kitchen cabinets into my cabinet painting project and if you just get rid of that it's still saving it and you can open it back up just like that. And that's a way of just dragging a website into your notes to get information into it. And that's another way to capture information. Oh, one last thing. You can add YouTube videos to Apple Notes too. So if we go into YouTube, and here just happens to be some of my videos, so we'll tap on this one and we'll wait for the commercials because you know that's how I make a little bit of money so I'm just gonna pause that right there and I'm gonna go to share and I'm gonna go to more and I'm gonna go to notes and I'm not gonna make it into a new note I actually have some resources and I've got video tutorials there and now I can create a new note just like that and now I'm going to click Save and when I go back to Apple Notes and I go back to Resources down to Video Tutorials and there is the video tutorial that I just saved and I can just tap on it and it'll take me back to the video and I can watch it and I often do that I keep track of some of the important videos that I want to hang on to so that's yet another way to capture information and get it into Apple Notes. So you can create a new note, you can create a quick note, you can drag information into notes. There's just a variety of ways to get it in and that's how I do it when I'm putting together all the things that I want to go in my Apple Notes. The next thing I want to talk to you about is just the folder structure. The ability to organize your notes in some meaningful way and again if you go back to my set up here and I've talked about this in a prior video but it still sticks with me so I use what's called the para method projects areas resources and archives projects are things that have a beginning and an end to them like painting a kitchen cabinet uh, project uh, areas are things that just go on forever in my case uh, auto maintenance I'm always going to be dealing with that home maintenance uh, medical things you know travel stuff like that I keep track of in the areas folder and I create subfolders for each one of those and then in resources are things like service manuals and video tutorials and things like that and I keep all of those in there that way when I open up Apple notes I don't have this gigantic long list of folders that just makes it almost impossible to find stuff I just have these uh, four areas here these four main areas here and I can pretty much figure out where something is based upon one of those titles. You know sometimes you, you need to find something and you may not be able to find it out of the the way everything is set up in your folder structure there and that's why I use tags from time to time and I can show you how I do that. So if I go into resources let's go back to the video tutorials that we were just looking at. If I tap that right there and I add a tag. I'm going to tag that YouTube and you just hit enter. And you go back and I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to claim that same. 
and you put a pound sign followed by your tag, and the tag can only be a singular word. There can't be spaces in it. So I just uh, tag these YouTube. But if I'm back here, and I'm now in all of my iCloud notes, I've got my folders closed like that, but I really wish I could find those two videos. You'll notice I have a YouTube tag down here now, and I can just tap on that, and here comes the everything tagged YouTube. In fact, I actually, in setting up for this video, tagged a travel template with YouTube. If you tap on that, huh, there it is. Uh, but that's a way, a very handy way, of finding stuff quickly. And you can organize your, your tags right down here. You can hide them if you don't want to see them. But that way, by tagging stuff, you can really just drill down very, very quickly. You don't have to go to resources and then video tutorials to find it. You know, you can just tap YouTube and there you go. And that's how you do it. And that's a great way to find stuff. Of course, you can always um, uh, search for anything in here. So you can just go up to the search bar and you can look for anything. Let's type in Lowe's. I think we made a, uh, I made a note here with cabinet painting. And sure enough, here comes up the note with how to paint cabinets from Lowe's. And so you can always search using the search bar, uh, but tagging things is another way to drill down and find stuff. So between the folder structure, tags, and then just general search, you should be able to find just about anything you want in Apple Notes. And so now you have just a quick overview of how to capture stuff and get it in there, how to set up some folder structures that make sense to you, and then lastly, how to find what you've put in Apple Notes. So this was a much deeper dive into Apple Notes than my other videos, but my goal is to give you ideas on how powerful Apple Notes can be, and at least one way you can organize your notes. Better yet, I hope this video gets you thinking how you can use Apple Notes in a way that makes sense to you, even if it's different from what you've just seen. But either way, just get started using Apple Notes. You'll be glad you did. Okay, that's it for today. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.